Our research says that you were interested in, in at early age, in stories about Abraham Lincoln and yeah. Kit Carson. Sure. What do these stories tell you? Well, you know, they were, you know, I, I, they revealed to me that there was another kind of world that you mm -hmm. could, you know, that the safe, secure world that's right in front of you, the neighborhood, that there was something else. And I mm -hmm. used to love those guys because, I mean, Kit Carson, I mean, they were mountain men. They went out and discovered things. And I, I remember sometimes I would think, I said, boy, I was born at the wrong time mm -hmm. because the whole world has been discovered. Yeah. You know, little did I know that the frontier for the future rest inside of folk, not necessarily mm -hmm. outside of folk. But I thought that everything had been discovered, man. And uh, I was really just kind of depressed there for a moment because, you know, they, they had discovered the Rocky Mountains and they had discovered the uh, the, the, the Appalachian Mountains. All the things had been discovered, you know. And so, uh, but I was inspired by them. I was inspired by Abraham Lincoln because he was a reader. Mm -hmm. I think the thing that I really liked about Abraham Lincoln was that the reading stories about him sitting by, you know, the the uh, uh, fireplace or yes. whatever, you know, reading late at night and having, you know, could just could barely see. So that those kind of things inspired me a lot. Mm -hmm. And I little did I know that uh, uh, some of the images that I would see uh, in terms of Abraham Lincoln was images of how he was dealing with with, with black people and mm -hmm. you know. Uh, but Lincoln uh, became became a role model for me, based on, in my early years, based on, on on those kind of things, his ability to read, and the fact that he fought for black people. And Chicago, the Chicago Historical Society was about, <clears throat> I guess, four or five blocks from from my school. Mm -hmm. And I tell Lonnie Bunch now, you know, mm -hmm. he used to be the head yes. of the Chicago Historical Society. I tell Lonnie, I said, you know, I'm probably the only person in the world that you know of who used to cut classes to go to the historical society. <laughs> and that's because I was attracted to history uh, mm -hmm. and, and, and Lincoln's, and I remember the statue out there in the, in the park, uh, Lincoln Park there, and of Abraham Lincoln, and how I used to sit there and, you know, wonder. But uh, it was, you know, my curiosity, you know, I, I really wanted to to learn more about things. I wanted to be a part of something. Mm -hmm. I wanted to be, man, I wanted my life to be a significant life. You know, not an insignificant life. 